Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Red in here with some ladder. Uh, I'm not really climbing anymore. I already got the masters. I'm just kind of trying to complete my quests, at least partially. I've added banners to my decks. I found a new tool. I believe it's called uh, Shift Stoned. It's a website that lets you see the probabilities of having the proper influence and power, or at least proper influence, for your deck. And it's very very useful so I've I've been able to improve the percentages on my on both my expedition and uh, throne <laughs> decks by a fair bit, bit like at least five percent and you know five percent more likely to have your proper influence means five percent fewer games or you're just totally frustrated that it's turn four and you still don't have a a time influence and you have a handful of Aurelian suppliers but you can't play them. My friend here really refuses to let me play my banner properly. He just does not like my units. Apparently he's playing some aggro deck himself. He's just having a very control opening. <laughs> Just murdering everything. Just continuing to murder everything. How rude. How absolutely rude. Okay. Finally, I can play my banner. Thank you. So I have a run in. Banner. Dragon. So, yeah, the banners definitely help you with your influence, but they make the deck a little bit more thoughtful. Okay then, friend. But yeah, I'm really liking how the decks feel. So, um, let's double check that one second. Yes. Sheet is stoned. You can see your power calculations, you can see... Actually, I don't know if you can see my desktop. Hopefully I hid my porn properly. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, so you see I have a 91% chance to have the the red influence on turn 1 to be able to play my 1 drops, notably Oni Ronin and Ruthless Stranger, a uh, 79% chance to have the Magnificent Stranger up on the proper turn, 78% for Milo to have the double red, only a 48% for Jack, but the thing is you don't normally play Jack on turn 3. You want to play him turn 4, and that's more like a 60% chance. So when you factor in 60% chance, also do you have a token in your hand? That's probably somewhere down here. <laughs> but yeah, you can play around with the, um, uh, the power base, the sources of power in your deck. M my best structure would be something like this. So I added... Should have added four, which means dunk one there, one there. Is that it? 82? Yeah, that, look, that looks pretty good. So it gives me an 86% chance to hit the Aurelia Supplier, 82% on the Magnificent, 93% now on these, 83% on Milo, and 56% on Jack, which makes the turn four somewhere in the neighborhood of 65%. So that is the proper distribution, but as usual, I'm being really cheap and I don't feel like crafting three insignias for my best deck for some reason. Eh, don't ask me, hey, hey, I, I splurged on the banners, okay? I splurged on the banners. Sounds <laughs> like someone ready your only gets. Okay, so it's like give temporary uh, um, ages, I mean not ages, endurance. It would be cool if they could attack again. I actually got that as a legendary in, in a pack recently. It's interesting, but it's pretty expensive. So yeah, this is what the deck looks like now. I removed the coin just because I only had one of them. I didn't feel like messing around too much with it. I just wanted to play a bit of games and I need to get some sleep. So this is the current deck list. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna cut the outlaw for a Ronin. I still don't have the fourth stranger. I was able to pick up the Pioneer in my Forge Adventures. And yeah, I don't feel like 
crafting an uncommon hand right now. <laughs> That's, I also don't want to craft the, the insignia. If I could use them in Expedition, I would craft them. But that's kind of also what's holding me back. This is, for some reason, some expedition, some insignias are in expedition, other insignias aren't. And apparently, they want to rotate what factions are in fashion, and apparently, Praxis is not in fashion, or it's not supposed to be. But it's still extremely strong because of these cards. So, <laughs> whatever. Obviously, if you have more Shaskas, they're very nice extremely good synergy with the pioneer and just a good thing in general when you draw power you can you don't need to like if you want to decimate it you can just play the power and get a 3-2 instead 3-2 overwhelm so very solid but yeah i added the praxis banners and that makes my deck maybe some five percent more consistent which is pretty big might not necessarily mean a 5% higher win rate, but means 5% fewer frustrating games where you are power locked and you it's turn four and you still can't play your Magnificent Stranger or you can't play your Aurelian Supplier or your Strange Gladiator. So I'm definitely glad I decided to go for that change. The deck is already feeling pretty, pretty nice. I like it. And the reason I cut the Outlaw for a Ronin is that the Ronin plays better with banners since you can play a one mana card and activate your mana and it would essentially be quote unquote free <laughs> because if you ha if you didn't have the unit you would have to play a depleted power so you can use the power better with a one drop so that's my reasoning it's not necessarily that the Ronin is better than the outlaw I don't think he is I mean, obviously you know one one less health one less combat skill that's well worth the extra mana for the Rakano Outlaw. It's just because he, the Ronin plays better with banners. I'm going to try it this way. I'm not 100% sure that it's better or anything. Just this is what I'm currently working with. I wanted to do a little update and a showcase of that tool since I found it very helpful. And maybe some other people out there don't know of that website's existence or how helpful it can be. Maybe now you do. <laughs> Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it helpful, and have a good evening.